Well, we had said earlier on a live stream that we were going to do a video on pretzels. Well, we kind of didn't remember to film the putting together the dough. So here is my dough right here. So we just decided to go live while I make up the pretzels. My dough has been resting for 45 minutes. Um, and let me tell you what's in here right quick. It's three-fourths cup of warm milk. It actually calls for warm water. We don't need a close-up of my face. That you look fine. Yeah. Anyway, uh, one cup of sourdough starter, three cups of flour, a fourth a cup of dry milk. That's if you're using water. That's why I used milk instead because I didn't have dry milk. One tablespoon of sugar, one tablespoon of melted and salted butter, one and a half teaspoons of salt, and two teaspoons of yeast. So, and I'll eventually have that recipe posted in the description of the video. And to take my dough out, it's supposed to be, you're supposed to have a, a very soft dough. So it's, it's a, a very, uh, hey, Grandma. Uh, you know, it, so I'm not going to be using a whole lot of flour with this. And I meant to bring my scale down here where I could do it all even. If I do these for the farmer's market, I will uh, definitely weigh them where they'll all be the same size. But I'll eyeball it today because I'm, gonna, I'm supposed to cut this into 12 equal pieces. And it said just to knead it lightly, just to deflate it and everything on a very lightly floured surface. And so that worked really good. The dough turned out nice. I've got a little bit on my fingers, but it's not bad at all. So when I... Uh, cut dough or divide dough, I like to, I do it like in half. That's a nice tool you have. That's a very nice tool. Thank you, Sherry from 7D Farm. Has definitely changed the way I do things. All right, now this would be six and six, which this one's a little bigger. And so this is going to be three and three, three and three. So now I just got to do my threes. That's going to be a big one. Add that to that. This is my first time making pretzels. I don't even think I've eaten, ever eaten a big pretzel. But Tommy says he loves them. So. She had a sheltered life. All right. See, I ended up with this. And so I'm going to just take some from some other ones. Like I said, um, <clears throat> I learned that trick from Sherry, too, as far as... Uh, weighing your dough when you want stuff to turn out even. I do that with my farmer's market now. She, uh, Sherry weighs her dough to make sure, and I started doing that, so I like it a lot better. I got a little too much flour on here. You want it to kind of stick a little bit where you can get a good roll on it. Oh, Bandana Grandma says she loves watching the Amish kids um, at their local market flip those pretzels into shape. Oh, wow. Well, this is not going to be anything like that. <laughs> I don't even know where you are, Grandma. Where, where, where are you located? Um, Go ahead, Pat. I hope to see some Amish while we're traveling. Okay, now let me remember how I was supposed to do this. One, two. Huh? Is that it? Maybe this is not 18 inches. No, that's not 18 inches. Maryland. Oh, she said they come down from Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, see, that's where I told Tommy I wanted to go. Let's see. This is six inches. So that's 12 inches. One more. 12 inches plus four is 16 inches. Huh? Yeah. So, yeah, three of those I need to do. It needs to be three of those. Hmm. I'm going to need a bigger baking sheet. Bandana said, if we ever go to Lancaster, she'll meet us there. They go there often. Oh, cool. Well, Bandana Grandma, how far how far is that from Warrington, Virginia? Because we had actually threatened on Sunday coming. maybe to, um, yeah, Grandma's going to be there. She's got her neck prepared <laughs> to be hugged. That's right. But we'd actually, Patty was actually Googling about how, uh, how far um Amish country Maybe in Pennsylvania would be today. from Warrington, Virginia. Hmm. Now, I saw this on the video. Does that look like it? Is that how it's supposed to look? Well, uh, kind of. <laughs> That's about right, huh? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, that looks like a pretzel. Okay. Kind of. Kind of? 
Close enough. I'll get better. This is a first effort now. I'll get better. Well, Brandana says Lancaster is two hours north of her and Warrington is two hours west. So I think we saw it was about, well, I, I don't know if she looked at Lancaster, but. Yes, it is. Oh, it is? It's about three hours and something, right? Hours. Or was it 248? Oh, it was 240 something. But I mean, I, I just did the town, not yep, necessarily. Yep, Andy's backyard and shops and looks more than good enough to eat, Miss Patty. So. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've never done this before, so we'll see. Yeah, this is a first try. So I'm sure with uh, effort, it'll look better. It's got to be fast for me, though, you know, because it can't take up too much time to do them. It's worth my time to do them. Yeah, Bandana said that sounds about right. A more direct route from Warrington should get us there in two to three hours. So. I don't know. We'll see. Might spend our Sunday doing that. Although they they worship on Sundays, Amish people do. I think so. It might not be a good day to do it. Because yeah, it probably then, wouldn't be. Well, where is um? Yes, Pia, we will put salt on them. She'll she'll uh, we haven't got there yet. Will we get there yet in this video? Yeah. You're gonna do that before baking. I think so. I have to read my instructions. <laughs> I think so. Though. And we're going to experiment with them. I don't know if we'll be able to bring any to the mark to the uh, conference or not. I don't know how long they last. <clears throat> I would think they last longer than some other things, but I don't know why. I don't know why I would think I mean, that. It's like bread dough. Yeah. I don't know. I guess not. I'm sure they're going to be better than the ones I got in the mall as a kid. I wonder how much bigger they're going to get when they grow. Oh, wow. So if any of you have uh, experience doing this, please don't hesitate to uh, comment. Tell us what we could do better. Um, Dawn Old Fashioned said, Old Fashioned Life said you can freeze them, can't you? Pia wants you to make a real big one. Well, <laughs> a giant pretzel. A giant pretzel. We're trying to make, you know, trying to be economical and get as many as you can out of a. Well, it's just what, it's what it calls for. So I'll do some experimenting. Yeah, right now she's following directions of a recipe. Which I've already changed because I added milk and not. Yeah. <laughs> milk powder, but. It don't take her long to see something she needs or wants to change in it. I think they look cute. One, two, three, four, three. Yeah. And I don't know. Like, mama said, just experiment and dehydrate one. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> there you go. It's running over there, so. <laughs> this is one of my smaller pieces of dough. And tail it's. And it's getting, oh, I didn't do that one too. It's getting easier and easier as I do it, you know. He so. said, get the mustard ready. <laughs> My mouth's watering thinking about that, Pia. And y'all, I thought about that a variation because um, we was talking about that and everything. I'm going to uh, sprinkle some of them with my ranch uh, uh, dip mix, my dry mix. And I'm also going to sprinkle some with uh, my Fiesta and see how that tastes. Dawn Old Fashioned Life asks, do they get boiled in salted water before baking? Well, it's funny you asked that, Dawn. Well, <laughs> I was debating. I did not want, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this uh, and contemplating bringing them to our market. And that's just a step that would probably take a long time that I didn't want to do. So that's why I'm experimenting. This one, I'm actually going to be brushing them with water before I bake them. And so we're going to just see how that goes. Um, you know, now of course, if I make them for Tommy at home, no big deal if I have to do that. But for the market, I just think that's going to be a step that's going to take a little long for me. Um, so, and I'm already we don't seeing, know. It, it may be key to the process. It may be key to the process. 
but uh, I've read some recipes with oh, look, that came apart. Doing that, and some this recipe does not call for doing that though, uh -huh. but it does call for uh, brushing them with water. So, salted water? Uh, no, because you're going to put the, cook, cook, the salt stuff on it. Let me make sure. Marginal Woodfern wants to know if homemade pretzels come out crispy like store bought. Well, these are not supposed to be crispy. You know, these are like the big giant soft pretzels that you can get like at a, a fair or they used to have kiosk in a, in a shopping mall that would sell them. And also it says to put sugar in this water. I'm not doing that because Tommy said that he don't remember that. But Tommy, you know, all this Ooh, water's not going to go on it. All this water's not going to go on it. It's just going to have a little bit of sugar in it. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to try it without doing sugar in the water. Tia says he garlic powder on top. Yeah, garlic would be good. Now that I'm, I'm seeing that it's just like, it's like bread dough. I mean, you know, it's, that's all it is, like bread dough. Okay. So well, some of them look more like pretzels than others, but it's an outstanding first attempt. <laughs> okay. So now I'm supposed to brush them each with water. It's supposed to have uh, sugar in the water, but Tommy don't think I should put sugar. I don't know. Water. I don't know. Well, because you said you don't remember it, a sweet taste at all, so I'm just going to try it without the sugar. Ooh, Bob Hale said instead of salted water to get the good browning and crisp skin, some folks boil them in lye water. That's the, quote, authentic way. Oh, I hadn't even read that. That kind of creeps me out. <laughs> Surely I must be misunderstanding what lye water is. No, you're not. Hominy is made with lye water too, dear. Is it? Yes. Maybe that's why I don't eat hominy. You soak it. Have I done these? No, so no, you no, actually no, no, no. soak corn in uh, lye water. And this is a very brief description. It's probably more than this. But anyway, it turns the husk of the corn loose off of the kernel. And uh, then you kind of strain that out. And then... Um... Wow, Bob Hills heard that from Alton Brown. By the way, if y'all watch that, uh, the Food Network, uh, Chopped, I think, our friend, our great friend, Nick Wallace from here, right here in Jackson, Mississippi, is going to be on on the 17th, I think, with uh, Alton Brown. Nick thinks very highly of Alton Brown. Now, Dawn says sugar may help with the browning. Yep. That may be all that's, that, that's at. All right, that's I got to remember, these five got this salt, okay? That's the only uh, coarse salt that I had, so the other ones are going to be other flavors. I wear aprons so that they boil it in baking soda water, and somebody else mentioned, uh, it might have been Brenda Collins that had seen, yeah, Brenda Collins had seen it done with baking soda water. Well, we're going to try a little thing, a little bit different thing, so. This is her ranch. Ooh, it that's smells so strong. That's her, that's her ranch dressing mix. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we're just experimenting, we're experimenting. right? So, yeah. If you're going to experiment, just if you, just experiment. Pia, you're going nuts. Pia's, yeah, no pun intended. She said pine nuts or hickory nuts on top. Yeah, but now you're talking. You're making like cinnamon rolls, Pia. <laughs> That's got a. Well, I've seen things for sweet pretzels, so. Yeah. See, that just when I want a pretzel, that's not what I want. So this is her Fiesta, which is my favorite dip mix. Hey, why don't I leave that one plain? No salt or anything. Good idea. And so we can just let our imaginations go wild. We'll taste it first. How about that? All right, all right I got all that stuff on there. All so. right, so she's got three with ranch mix, three with Fiesta, four with salt, and one naked. Five with salt. Five with salt, yeah. I don't do math. And let's remember, it'll be this one that's this way. Okay? That one is the one with nothing. That's the naked one. Okay. All right. So you're going to bake them at what time? At 350. 350. Where it says, I'm going to put the convection on, um, 20 to 25 minutes. So I'll check them in 20 minutes because I've got the convection on. Sometimes it does cook a little bit quicker. So... Anyway. All right, All so right. I don't think we're going to sit here and watch them for 20 minutes. No, so. no, but we're hanging for trying to go back live. I'll take them out when we'll, you do a taste test. We'll try to go do a taste test when she takes them back out. 
no, no promises, but we might. Thanks, guys.